The heat isn't helping matters for firefighters battling a wildfire in the Angeles National Forest. The lake fire, which started Wednesday, is now nearly 15,000 acres, and there was a flare up today. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live at the command post in Castaic Lake, where she spoke with several people who have lost their homes so far. Leanne. Yeah, that's right. We know that six structures have been lost in the in the firefight and they are continuing to try to protect hundreds of others that remain threatened uh, due to that massive fire burning in the Angeles National Forest. Just take a look. This is what it looked like today out on the front lines. It certainly is a very difficult firefight due to the extreme heat today. Temperatures well over 100 degrees. At one point, the thermometer is at 111. You add in the heat of the fire and carrying their gear and it is downright dangerous for firefighters. Now, the lake fire has burned more than 14,000 acres. As I said, six structures have been lost, including Sandra Putzinger's house. She only had minutes to grab all of her belongings and her two kids and escape as the fire raced through the area. The mother of two is permanently disabled after a severe car accident, and now she has nothing left. We only had 10 minutes to grab what we can and get out. And we were freaking out, we were panicking, we were just throwing bags in the car, whatever we could grab, but we couldn't grab everything, obviously. And I didn't grab enough clothes or anything because it was such a fast, it was like a blink of an eye. Putziger says she watched her home go up in flames on the news. Now, she didn't have any fire insurance or homeowners insurance and now has absolutely nothing left. A GoFundMe has been set up to help her and her two young daughters. Uh, we also spoke to another homeowner uh, who raced away just as the flames raced towards his home. Unfortunately, he too has nothing left. Again, six homes lost in this fire. The blaze, though, is 12% contained at this point, but it certainly is a a very difficult day out there on the fire lines. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.